Hey there folks, welcome to Spectrum Pulse. We talk about music, movies, art, and culture. And today we are finally going to be talking about the newest album from Brother Ali called All the Beauty in This Whole Life. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. Because sometimes when you listen through an extended backlog in preparation for a review like this, it can be strenuous or exasperating or just plain exhausting. Even if there's a lot of quality, it's just a huge volume. Whereas in this case, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, Brother Ali. I've been hearing praise for this guy for years now. As a populist political MC hailing from Minnesota, who's got the wit and insight to back it all up, and also has the skills of a battle rapper. And what initially caught my attention were some of the comparisons made to Sage Francis in terms of his origin and initially a fair amount of his content and balancing the intensely personal with some fearsome skills. Hell, they even battled once. But their trajectories broke in very different directions, with Brother Ali's material shifting to a much more political direction, working alongside atmosphere producer Ant, and this is the sort of political and socially conscious hip-hop that I like to hear. It's nuanced in detail with a lot of great storytelling and fantastic framing, but it's got the passion and populism to keep it very grounded in human human, and when you pair with remarkably solid grooves and real punch to it, it leads to some relentlessly enjoyable albums with rare slip-ups. I don't think there's any serious duds in his discography. Now granted, he hasn't always worked with Ant. He switched things up with Jake One in 2012's Morning in America and Living in Color, which, yeah, that was pretty damn solid. But it has been five years since Brother Ali put out a full-length solo project, and if I was looking for a political rapper to speak definitively on our current situation, especially in the United States right now, I'm not sure I could ask for many more better qualified candidates. And a reunion with Ant, that could only be a good thing. His production work was easily the best thing about that most recent Atmosphere project I covered on vacation last year. So, okay, what does Brother Ali have to say on all the beauty in this whole life? Well, honestly, this was a much more difficult project for me to evaluate than I expected. Not only in its subversion of my expectations going in surrounding a lot of the content, but also in the approach to that content. In a bizarre way, it kind of gave me the same feeling as when I covered fellow Minnesota rapper P.O.S.'s record Chill Dummy earlier this year, where I expected an MC who was more political naturally to ignite the firebrand. Instead, I got a project that's more relaxed and measured in its tone, working to untangle personal struggles and place them in a broader social context. Only in this case, where P.O.S. often felt most comfortable musing in the tangled darkness, Brother Ali, he's looking skywards, looking towards some of the brightest music that he's ever touched, and I was honestly kind of curious to see if it actually paid off. And I think it's most appropriate to start off with Brother Ali himself. And really, not a lot to say here, because there's an authoritative, earnest honesty that I've always found really compelling in a very plain-spoken and populist way. Brother Ali, he's not one to talk down to his audience, or place himself above his audience. And you can tell that most of this record can feel very much like a learning experience for him as much as it is for his listeners, which again, can be very ideal for this sort of political art. But in this case, unpacking a lot of his own personal fears and struggles still manages to have some real weight for its straightforward frankness to it all. There's something that did catch me a little bit off guard because beyond some moments that do bring a little bit more sharp intensity in form of bars on songs like the opener, pen to paper, Brother Ali, he handles the much more mellow tones across this project by being remarkably direct in his delivery and his choice of words. And while I'm a little on the fence whether or not this is the best idea, I can't really deny that it helps with some of the storytelling and it definitely helps with the populism that everyone can understand where he's coming from. So okay, what is Brother Ali talking about this time around? Well, again, outside of the tracks that have a little bit more of a narrative, which are among some of the best on this album for that record, he's a great storyteller, it can be a little bit unclear initially. If this album is serving to inspire or evoke feelings of love and beauty, it'll certainly touch on that pretty frequently. From the effervescent calls to love on own light, that's what hearts are for, can't take that away. The first verse on We Got This before he gives that knowing smile to MCs that are cribbing from him, and Saw Rock just steals the entire track to add some real desperate intensity to her verse. Great verse there. But then there's the peaceful exchange on It Ain't Easy, and then the title track, which only highlights how dealing with one's personal pain and vices is often the best way to find and truly appreciate that raw beauty in the rest of the world. And really, when this record taps into those moments of coping, it can hit some great moments that flexes Brother Ali's muscles as a storyteller. From the message of Dear Black Son to slough off the projections and insecurities of white society, to embrace a pure confidence in oneself that showcases his underlying worry for his son, to the trip to Iran for a conference that saw his message get misconstrued as anti-American rather than discussing systemic inequalities by both Iran 
Iranians and Americans on Uncle Uzi taught me to the very personal insecurity of Pray For Me growing up, showing the struggles to fit in as an albino before embracing his own unique path. Along with a really great third verse evoking how Elvis, he styled his hair like a pompadour to mimic Muddy Waters, who himself was doing it to cater his image to white audiences. In both cases, said choices were done for others, even on the smallest things, not doing it for themselves. And indeed, Brother Ali's pieces on race are some of his most striking in describing the insecurity and confused deafness to privilege on Before They Called You White, describing the systemic construction reinforced by religion that leaves generations later of white people with post-traumatic slave master syndrome. Great line there. Now, all that being said, it's a little bit jarring when you realize how much religious themes and ideology run through this album from Brother Ali's perspective, and it can make you wish that some of that real self-awareness that colors so much of the rest of this album came through on that too, like on Tremble or Never Learn, or especially the anti-porn screen of The Bitten Apple, which is one of the few places on this album that doesn't feel nearly as enlightened or considered as it should, and also shows a reflective disgust against technology that I think will age pretty badly. I get making points against detachment, especially from human sexuality. Wanting that human contact for love on special effects was a great moment. But when you flip it into the society is just getting more debased and detached, it strikes me as puritanical in the same sort of way that Ali can say on Can't Take That Away, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Yikes. Now, this takes some of the production, which as I described, does aim for a certain clean, melodic presence, with lots of pianos, spiky guitar leads, firm but liquid bass lines, and blocky percussion segments that do plenty to support some real groove here. A branded production that Ant has been using for the past couple of years now, especially with atmosphere. And I'm not gonna deny that for a fair few songs on this album, it does a lot for the mood and feel, going for that effervescence. The damn solid grooves and special effects that pull from old school soul, the nervous blocky beat and skittering pianos of Dear Black Sun, the thicker bass and drums against Uncle Yusi taught me, to the bright piano and spiky guitar on It Ain't Easy with a hook that is remarkably infectious. It works for me. But for as earnest as Brother Ali can be as an MC, I have to admit, there's a part of me that does wish that some of this production could pick up a little bit more of an edge or bite to it. I mean, you get parts of it. The blocky blasts of horns on pen to paper that sound pretty damn impressive. The sleigh bells behind the sharper beat on We Got This. The darker smolder behind Before They Called You White. But ironically, when this record's production does pick up a little bit more bite and gets darker with the big oily spurts of horns on Never Learn, the scuzzy guitar on Tremble, and the harmonica and weedy guitars on The Bitten Apple, they just don't connect for me in the same way. They don't really fit with the rest of the album, too. Maybe it's an issue of slower tempos or the grooves not having the same tightness, but in comparison with the sandy, barren melancholy of Out of Here, which shows Brother Ali coping with a friend's suicide and knowing that legacy that he holds in his family with both his father and grandfather committing suicide, there are notes that I feel that could have been handled a little bit better. But overall, I find a lot of this production is working to soften edges around Brother Ali, and while there will be an audience that will appreciate that to make for some more teachable moments, I'm not always sure it plays to his strengths as an MC or the intensity and nuance of his content. And I gotta be honest here, speaking to that content, I wish that some of the poetry picked up a little bit more detail beyond the stories, because it can start to run together a little for me. But as a whole, Honestly, man, I'm conflicted on this. Partially because, while I am sure this is a very good album, I wouldn't really call it a great one. His mid-2000s work tends to stick with me a fair bit more, even though there are big chunks of us that I really like. And I keep finding myself looking for a record that would cut deeper than this one did, or is willing to really challenge Brother Ali beyond some personal struggles that feel like they were already laid to rest. It's a little bit too clean in that department. To me, this feels a little too neat, a little too polished, with some of the messaging resonating and others reflecting a lack of insight. I I would not want to see from someone like Ali, especially with the even-handedness and honesty behind so many of his convictions. He's a straight shooter, and I kind of wish some of the insight came behind that. As such, for me, I'm giving this a strong 7 out of 10 and a recommendation, especially to all the fans who I guarantee will have heard this already. Again, I'm a little late to this, but for a solid staple, I have heard better from Brother Ali's discography. Still, if you're curious, looking for a worthwhile exploration to a fascinating back catalog, I highly recommend you check this out, and Brother Ali, certainly worth your time, so be sure check this out man it's pretty good so yeah thanks a lot for watching like to like and subscribe i'd be more than grateful yes no i'm late to the punch with this but i got the link in the description below if you want to buy it i got the pull up there i'm curious where more hardcore brother ali fans fall on this album because i find some people might be a little put off by how bright and cheery it can be 
Beyond that, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. If you guys want to get involved in my Patreon schedule and more affecting my schedule here, link to that right there, where three times a week you guys get to vote on my schedule, and once a week for the higher tiers you guys get to add records to my schedule. More details right there, but until then, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time. Right.